And at the outset, I'd like to thank the Ohio Aerospace Industry Institute and NASA for organizing such a group as this. That's true. I am here representing the aerospace industry, who has an absolutely vital stake in the work that you're doing. Education, particularly STEM education, is a very big priority for AIA's members. So I'm pleased to be joining Administrator Bolden, NSF, the Department of Education, and a very esteemed group here tonight to say so. Now, I'm also pleased that this conference falls on the first day of National Aerospace Week, because I can't think of a better topic with which to begin our commemoration of the aerospace and defense industry. Okay, audience participation. How many of you knew it was National Aerospace Week? Show of hands. Aha, look at this, a hearty few, yes. Well, the rest of you who didn't, I'll tell you the truth. This is the first National Aerospace Week out. But the Congress and President Obama have declared it so because it celebrates the accomplishments and the importance of aerospace to our nation. Whether it's a question of maintaining and driving our economic vitality or increasing our national security. And there's that question of the technological edge that we maintain as a nation. These accomplishments would not be possible without the hundreds of thousands of industry workers across the nation whose work makes our industry strong and competitive. It's an industry that includes more than 800,000 workers across all 50 states, supports 2 million middle class jobs. Now think about that in this economy. And I'll tell you, these are the men and women who are both the muscle and the heart of American economy. So you can imagine that ensuring a strong workforce is very important because it naturally and com follows that we have to have a huge emphasis on a comprehensive education, and at the heart of that is STEM education. In our most recent membership survey of all the companies that make up the aerospace and defense industry, a lack of a trained technical workforce was the number two issue for all of us. Our current workforce is aging. And as our industry has got to compete with other workforces for talents and other industries for talents, the importance of educating our young people to be both college and career ready and attracting them to aerospace careers, it's a real challenge. The issue is further sharpened by the fact that almost 60% of our workforce have got to have a security clearance. That means we home grow our talent. And as a result, an educated domestic workforce is essential for our industry and for very high paying jobs that are going to be available in abundance across America. So I applaud everyone in this room for your efforts to educate our young people. Your commitment to education plays a very huge role in maintaining the strength of aerospace in this country. For our part, AIA and our members are directly engaging in multiple ways to educate our young people. On the national stage, AIA is collaborating with like-minded organizations, such as the Business and Industry STEM Education Coalition, and Change the Equation, which the White House has just launched, in order to provide a business perspective that's needed as we inform our policymakers about what our aspirations are for the future of STEM education. Programmatically, our companies are doing a lot in our local communities. A recent survey of our members found that our companies are investing, get this, $150 million a year in STEM education. And our workers themselves, they volunteer over 280,000 hours across the country to support these STEM education programs. One stalwart I have to mention because it's, believe me, homegrown by AIA and it's very near to us. This is the Team America Rocketry Challenge. And you'll see an exhibit back here on this because it's our program for middle and high school students. TARC, as we call it, is the world's largest rocket competition and has become a signature event for AIA. We've enjoyed the support of a great many organizations as well, as well as NASA. Thank you, Administrator Bolden. And we see the value as we go forward because over 50,000 kids have now participated in the program. 
and the kind of hands-on experience that launching rockets leads them, to, leads them to launch careers in aerospace. I mean, just picture this. Anything that takes a raw egg payload up 750 feet, you gotta get it down by parachute or streamer without breaking it. And all this with things that go boom and make big <laughs> explosions, this is a really popular program. <laughs> so we're proud of it. And we urge that you all all come by and take a look at it as well. But the real thing I wanna say is that the direct contributions that we're talking about here also have indirect contributions that our industry, NASA, and all of you here in this room can make to influence young people to come in and to work where we work. We want to demonstrate to young people the excitement, the amazing dynamic of the kind of work that we're engaging in. And we look to you all to be a key part of that success as we do everything we can to help you with STEM education in this a most exciting economy and most exciting set of opportunities anywhere in the world. Thank you very much.